Welcome back to Lasco Ford in Fenton, Michigan. We're going to be taking a look at the 2018 Ford F450 Limited, loaded up, and then some. We've got some additional options on there too for accessorizing your new F450 Limited. So let's take a look at the 2018 Ford F450 Limited all together now. Here we go. Cool things that I like about this. Obviously, starting out of the front with a unique grill that's going to come only on the Limited. It's got the dual nostrils over here on the side to differentiate it from the Platinum Series or from taking a look at King Ranch options. It's gonna follow that stainless look that you're gonna see with the Platinum, but you've got these two larger intake nostril looking things over here wrapped around your quad beam LED headlights. You got your running light here, you're gonna have your high beam, low beam, along with turn signal here, which is gonna light up amber. It's a, not a bulb, because it's LED, so it's a diode different color, right? Cool thing is on the Limited, you're gonna have the paint to match front bumper, which is what a lot of people are asking for. You're gonna get that on the Platinum, but you're also going to get it on the 450 in the limited package. What else is unique as that bumper wraps around to the side fender area? These massive flares are going to be standard on the 450 limited. Cool thing is that flare continues down into the bumper as well. So it's a two piece flare kit for the front. Now this is going to be running a larger steer tire, right? Or I mean, just look at that thing. It's a 19 and a half inch solid wheel that's not a cap the only thing you have that's on this is going to be your lug nut covers still going to give you this auto setting or full lock setting for your four-wheel drive and running a solid front axle on this truck as well things that i love about the f450 well you're going to need to have flares because it's so massive but then not a bad idea to throw these huge flaps on there as well what else does that save you on well how about your actuators for your power deployable running boards right so this is just going to create less stress to get less garbage kicked up in there and less of the winter stalactites here in michigan in fenton michigan you're going to get stalactites hanging down of salt and snow and crap well that's welcome to michigan here it is now cool thing you have a paint to match mirror cap on the top or your skull cap on the top of your mirrors massive mirrors these will come out and go in and power fold with an LED turn signal. Not only that, let's talk. I've got cliff notes because there's so much on this truck, there's, you're gonna need these. First in class, let's talk about some stuff there. So not only is it best in class for 935 pound foot of torque out of the 6.7 liter diesel, 450 horsepower going along with that as well. Overkill, yeah. Well, who cares? You have the baddest truck on the planet. You're going to have some overkill. You're going to have 7,630 pounds of payload capacity at your max on this truck as well for the F450 2018 in the limited packages. So here's the cool thing. Conventional towing, 21,000 pounds. What is conventional towing? That means from the bumper. You're going to yank around 21,000 pounds. But let's get back to payload. 7,630 pounds. Average weight on a Focus is going to be about 3,900 pounds. That means you could put almost two Focus in the bed of this truck and drive around. So if you've got a UTV, a four-wheeler, a welder, a fuel tank, cool. Put it all in there because 7,630 pounds can go in the bed of this big behemoth, right? Other things I like, paint to match backing on your door handles, but you're going to have the stainless on that door handle. I think that's a classy touch. And then you're going to have this, your intelligent key access that Ford's going to provide with a non-key key. It's just a fob. And it's... There's no keys needed. It's a, it's a limited. Why would you need keys, right? Other things that are class exclu exclusive. What is your maximum gooseneck or fifth wheel towing capability? 34,000 pounds, 17 tons. Oh my God, right? Seven, I mean, what do they even make something that big as far as a recreational triple axle trailer that's gonna be 34,000 pounds? Yeah, if you load your toy hauler full of gold bricks, bullion, right? That's what you're talking about. This thing on the back, your drive tire is huge, huge, big, juicy, meaty, 19 and a half inch dual rear wheels that are just unfreaking real. Now on this truck too, we've got a standard inner liner for your fender. There isn't a secondary liner you can do in here for a fender liner, but you're going to notice too, if you see these two bolts on your F450 or 350 or 250 with this little saddle brace that goes around your fully boxed frame that's bigger than everybody else's. <laughs> yep, it's Ford, it's bigger than yours. There it is, boron steel. If you see those, you're gonna have a gooseneck fifth wheel prep package. What does that mean? You're immediately ready to haul that big triple axle toy hauler trailer full of gold bullion, right? So check out the back of this thing. This is gonna be your 
rear tailgate applique. Nice, stainless steel with chrome inserts that say limited because if you're gonna spend this much, you might as well let everybody freaking know it, right? Check this out in the back here. So you can touch that one time, it drops with, an, with a, a nice little hydraulic arm that hides behind this taillight that goes down to here that makes it effortless to drop this down. Tailgate step, yep, got one of those and this comes out and up and now there's no folding. If you've seen the one that Chevy and um, GMC is doing right now, try not to laugh as you look at something that makes sense instead of rips apart half your tailgate in a transformer style that, uh, yeah, should be wearing a helmet when it goes to school. So this is gonna be our uh, tonneau cover. This is one of my favorites, so let me tell you why. So it's a one man job. You don't have to get in the bed to be able to fold this up, but then it's gonna come with these bars. The cool thing about that is if, you, if it rains, if it snows, you're gonna see the old tonneau covers that start to droop in the middle and start to get pulled. This is gonna stay taunt for you. Now I'm gonna hop in the back because there's other things I wanna show you. Like not just the fifth wheel gooseneck prep package, how about the fifth wheel gooseneck assembly package? Let's take a look at it. Still going, it's eight feet. Still going. More feet here. here. There we go. All right, so take a look at this. This bad boy is sponsored by Reese. So that's your giant horse collar, horse collar fifth wheel attachment, right? Cool thing is, it's pinned and locked in here. It is made to mount in here, so guess what? No more rails. No rail system here. You don't have to have this thing sticking up above your bed, and you can actually put a tonneau cover on there. Here's the other things to point out. On the Limited, you're gonna have LED lighting up on your center high mount stop lamp. Chimsel, right? Here's a Chimsel camera. Guess what that's gonna do? It's gonna point down to this. So when you go to lock into this son of a gun, guess what? No more air traffic control bringing me in to line it up on the runway. It's a one man job. You back up, your pin gets set right into your fifth wheel hitch. Boom, done. Now if you can look underneath this hitch, I wanna show you this too. See this, this little guy right here? Take this hitch off, and right here is where your gooseneck ball can go. Guess what that means? It can do both. That's easy, cool, simple, right? Other things that are gonna come with your fifth wheel gooseneck hitch package, that's assembly package. There's a prep, which comes without the hitch, and then the assembly comes with this assembly. But you're gonna have a seven pin uh, wiring harness there, and then you're gonna have this is your LED lights here. You got four more over on the other side, and then you're gonna have your four up there. Those will all illuminate. So what does that do? Count them up with me. 12 LEDs to shine into the bed of your truck to make this easy to do at nighttime. Hooking up has never been easier with the F450 Limited 2018 model, right? Other cool things, this is called box link. These box link cleats can harbor a, a ramp system, uh, different storage compartment options, bed dividers, the list keeps going. Check out Ford.com for that or our website at Lasco Ford and then go to your accessories and owner options, right? Keep going. The hits keep coming. This is like ABBA on YouTube. Check that out, like billions of views, right? So this is LED. Everything's LED on the outside of this truck. But then also you can see this little darker area that says blind spot radar. Well, there's a radar that shoots out of this that tells you if you got somebody in your blind spot, but not just that. If you are hauling that giant toy hauler or gooseneck fifth wheel camper enclosed trailer with nine race cars, whatever. If you're hauling that, this is now gonna shoot way back behind the vehicle. So your blind spot awareness isn't just for this blind spot right here. It's for you, your trailer and the blind spot that the trailer has. Boom, mind blown, right? Guess who has that? Oh yeah, sorry, just us. Yep, with Ford on your F450. Now your flares, they're massive, but they're not metal either. If you, all, if you notice, like um, the pathetic option that Ram puts out there, which is all one piece, and you ding these up because you may have an unexperienced driver that hits this or just an inadvertent oops, right? Well, here's the cool thing. That can be replaced instead of doing a bediectomy and cutting your bed in half and welding a new one on there because uh, that's what you would have to do in a Ram if you threw your money away and bought one, sorry. Check this out, we're gonna have this massive fuel door, right? Because you're gonna have fuel. And then you're gonna have DEF, your diesel exhaust fluid. How often are you gonna fill that? A lot of customers will ask that. Usually they're gonna stay with Ford about once every oil change. Anywhere between eight and 12,000 miles. When is an oil change due on this bad boy? Depends on usage. The lightest about 10,000 miles up to 15,000 miles. 15,000 miles on light usage, heavy, uh, usage on the truck, they're gonna want it at 10, but it also depends on where you're at geographically too. If you're in a high dust area with a lot of particulates in the air, 
then they're gonna ask you to do it a little bit sooner and that's gonna be for your micron filtration on the intake system. One thing that I can say, definitely always use Ford filtration. Use the OEM stuff, it's the best thing for the truck. Inside, because it's a limited, has a unique interior. Well, how about Camelback leather? That doesn't mean you've got a straw hanging down with five liters of liquid. This means you're gonna have that unique interior that is two-tone and it's gorgeous and it's like a cashmere beige looking color thing that is gorgeous, right? With limited badging in there. I'm gonna turn the lights off so we have that incessant dinging stop for us. So if you take a look at this supple soft leather, just, I mean, you can see my hand, literally you can zoom in, you can see my handprint in the leather. It's so supple. One, two, three, four fingers right there, no thumb. But if you go up here and lift this bad boy up, what do you have there? Cleats for your box link. But then you also have, check this out, you're gonna love this. In the back of the truck, what is this thing? Well, boom, there's a beautiful design. See this little handle here? It's on either side, driver or passenger, so you can operate from either side. This is a storage unit. If you want to take that and separate it, now this can only be accessed on with that seat up or this, with this seat up, power inverter over here. You can also undo this, fold this down, and if you're the guy who doesn't like when you're going down the road, it's got a lock button, so it doesn't do any of that. Oh, genius. All weather mats, they cover the entire floor. Why wouldn't they? They thought of everything. Take a look at the corner here too. So big, I could have an apartment with a butler in here. Um, so if you take a look here, right? Can you zoom in on that or check that out? So, okay, this right here is a keyhole. So when this is up and you have things that you don't want people to get into or see, that keyhole, when this is folded down, will actually lock that compartment so you cannot access that unless you're the driver with the actual ignition key. Let me show you that. Because I told you before there's only a fob. Oh, I got another thing coming for you. So this, this is gonna be the, uh, this is gonna be the uh, uranium to fuel this nuclear power plant here, but check that out. So this key will come out, and then you can put it into this key slot, and you're able to lock that compartment by locking the seat in the downward position. Unlock, and the seat goes back up. Genius. Not only that, take a look at the unique wood grain in here too. The Limited in the F-150 offers eucalyptus. I can't say that no koalas were harmed in the making of an F-150, 250, 350, but uh, hey, you know, let's just assume they didn't hurt koalas doing it. Anyway, the inside of this is gonna have a beautiful new system, which I genuinely love. And what that's gonna be, is gonna be not my Ford Touch, it's gonna be the Sync 3 design, which is gonna give you Ford Pass. You can remote start your truck from China if you want to. Gorgeous, gonna have all those options. Heated air conditioned seats, not only that, but you're also gonna have, let me put my hand on the brake and show you, so well, I guess I don't need to. Um, heated steering wheel, we'll go over to some of your applications. You can go into settings, and then here's the thing that I like. Let me slide this over. See that little guy? Oh yeah, that little guy. Don't worry about that little guy, you should. Because that's heated, cooled, massaging, kneaded, prodding seats, so when you're going down the road, you might as well get a massage every time you drive your new Limited. Who has that? Ooh, just us, just saying, F450 Limited by Ford 2018, gangsta. Interior, brushed stainless features, two different compartments, an owner's manual storage box, which looks like two copies of the Old Testament. Not kidding, it's huge, massive storage compartments are every freaking wear on this thing. Other things that are awesome, cup holders. Just little stuff, right? Slide that over, you got four. Slide it back over, you got two again. Underneath here, additional storage. Underneath here again, zoom in. There's more, that's to reprogram your key fob and keep that working properly. Storage for days. Smart charging, right? I forgot to take the plants out of the back. That's in the back 40. But this thing is a dual panel moonroof, right? This one's moving, this one's stationary. But if you're gonna enjoy the luxury of a limited F450 2018, you might as well enjoy everything that's in the sky above you, right? Six auxiliary switches on this truck too, so you can hook up light bars, winches, fuel stuff, whatever you need to do that. And then this, which is awesome, is gonna show you what number your truck is. This is out of production, number 244, and this vehicle is available for sale, and it's heavily discounted because we've got, well, 917 miles on it. 
stories to come. Give us a call. I'll tell you how this unique deal happens, right? Gorgeous area in here. You got an extra storage tray there as well. You're going to have a plug-in port for a 12 volt system in there. You also have a 400 watt inverter here, another 400 watt inverter on the back side of this console. Ah, lane keeping system, forward camera, reverse camera, an auxiliary camera option as well with a 40 foot cord that can go to the back of your toy hauler. The hits just keep on coming. Exhaust brake, too high, four high, four low, locking rear differential. This thing, did you see the rear gear on this thing? It looks like the size of a Fiesta, jammed underneath the back, covered with a metal plate, and it's massive. Like the, ma the size of your axle on the back of this is something to almost laugh at. So tons of options here, push button start, a massive LED productivity screen, 5.2 inches, and then you've got 8.4 inches here. There's, it's huge. Home link up top. Yep, you've got that. Everybody's got that stuff now. But hey, here's the thing. It's going to be in here too. Anything else you can think of? Three driver positioning seats so you can do the ease of entry and ease of exit. You hop in, it lets you, it, it slides the seat back. You shut the door, put the push to start. It moves forward. One last thing. Guys, look at this. If you have a Super Duty and you have this little protruding area down here below where your horn is, what do you think that is? Below this horn is an airbag. Behind that airbag is an auxiliary gearbox. What does that do? This is a auxiliary gearbox. So when you go to turn a dually and back them in, guess what? You're probably hauling something and you don't want to look like Austin Powers in a golf cart, right? That's what this is. So it minimizes your effort. You turn three quarters of a turn on the wheel and it goes and it turns your wheels all the way at slow speeds. What else does it do? At a high rate of speed, it doesn't allow you to overcorrect yourself. So at a high rate of speed, if you're like, ah, oh, dear, boom, and you just need your grab the wheel and yank it, this is gonna minimize the impact of what you just did on accident. So as you speed up, it's for safety to keep you from overcorrection. And as you're going slower, it minimizes your effort to whip around a parking lot like you're driving a go-kart. So what? Yes, you need to check this out. What's the wheelbase on it? 176 inches, it was 172. We made the cab six inches bigger. This cab is also the same cab that's on an F-150 and 250. For a 17 model or newer on the 250s and 350s, you'll have that. This is the newest, this is the latest, this is the greatest. This is where Ford is going, hey, you could spend up to $95,000 on this truck. If you wanna know where your discount is on this, get ready to save thousands. We're here at Lasco Ford, we're in Fenton, Michigan, and we are your truck source. Check us out online, www.lascoford.com, or pick up the phone and give us a call, 810-629-2255. This is Paul Zagman showing you guys the 2018 Ford F450 Limited. Drop the mic.